Hello, Milky friends. It is Meltstool here. How are you? I hope you are well. Thank you very much for joining me for another Idol Heroes video. Today is the first day of Chinese New Year. Gong si fa tai or gong se fa choi to my Asian brothers. <laughs> I hope you are dressing in red and eating non uh, coronavirus uh, <laughs> imbued meats. <laughs> Obviously, there's a big situation going on with. Uh, the the flu so stay safe uh, stay out of crowds <laughs> I've made it a point not to go to Chinatown <laughs> because I'm one of those ignorant people that probably don't want to get infected uh, but yes stay safe wear a face mask if you are out in public especially in the areas where there's a higher risk of it but leaving that aside we are here to talk about the Chinese New Year event well I've already talked about it but we're here to talk about I guess the one part of it that I haven't talked about yet and that was this fireworks show. And so in my last video, I basically left it with you when I said, look, I, I don't know what the optimal path is for spending, whether you go down one side or you split your spend either side, like I have been doing where you sort of go 100, 100, 250, 250, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I've now done the, done the analysis <laughs> and I'm sure most of you have received enough fireworks just to basically do all of one side, but on the off chance that you haven't, here's the optimal strategy in my opinion. And so effectively I had to convert all the prizes you get in each of these tiers for either the penny side or the carry side into gems, unsurprisingly. And so here's what the results are. So penny for the first tier, it's only gonna cost you hundred fireworks and these are the prizes you get. And here's the total value of those gems as well as the gems per firework. So as you see on the penny side, the gems per firework lessens, it basically is a U-shaped uh, graph if you would plot out the gems per firework. So in the first tier, it only costs 100 fireworks and you get a decent return on gems. Uh, it's 10.4, right? And then as you go down, less of a case, uh, and then it suddenly shoots back up again when you get to basically the final box, the 300 firework box, and you get one of those light or dark hero shards and, and 10 feathers. And so that's just pure math, you know. What do you get for each tier? How much each item is worth? So her scroll is 125 gems per scroll because that's how much it costs in the marketplace in Aspen Dungeon. Super Wishing Coin, I've done the that math before. It's based on expected value. So what is the value of the, the really valuable items you can get with a Super Wishing on the Super Wishing Fountain Coin spinner thing? <laughs> so it's a five star hero, an orb, four star hero, and a scroll. And so here's the value. Here is the chance of getting those things and therefore, simple math, expected value. So sipping, super wishing coins, as I've always said, is worth fuck all. It's only worth 81 gems. Never pay more than 81 gems. <laughs> I know that's an odd number per super wishing coin. And similarly, wishing coins are worth six cents a fuck all. They're only worth two uh, gems a piece because it's so hard to get the five star hero and the four star hero isn't really worth anything. So if you're asking how they get the value, that's how I got the value. Then there's this really odd prize on the penny side where you get these five tavern quest scrolls. And because it's super randomized, I don't have the algorithm behind it in terms of um, the chances of getting, I guess, the arena tickets, gold or gems. I'm sure the guy that hacked the, the back end has probably got the odds, but I don't have the odds. So what I did to calculate the value of that was basically I summoned out five of these senior tavern crawl squest things and this is what i got i got a useless wishing coin i got the gems which are nice but then i also got three of these uh arena ticket books and they're worth about 10 a piece or 12 a piece rather because in the marketplace you can buy 10 at 120 gems meaning each arena ticket theoretically is only worth 12 gems a book or per ticket and so that's how i i calculated the value of these five tavern scroll quest things uh you get three i got three of those i got one of those and i got 92 gems total value 20 202 or basically 20.2 per scroll tavern scroll uh, and that gets you 202 so that explains having scrolls five star heroes i valued it at 400 because food i've just decided fuck it it's not worth a thousand um it's not worth a thousand gems. Food is only worth 400 gems from the event raid. 
uh, and that's from this little thing here. So every day you can buy extra challenges for 50 a piece. I can't buy any more. Uh, the higher VIP you are, the more you can buy. So I'm VIP, f whatever I am, 11, I can buy it five times. I think if you're low VIP, you can't buy it as much, but when you get to a certain level, uh, you're gonna be able to buy them 50 gems a piece and each gem, uh, each 50 is gonna get you one of these four star shards. And you need eight four star shards to make a hero, one five star hero, so eight times 50 is 400. That is how we get the value of these five star heroes. Feathers are uh, 48 gems per feather, and that's from the campaign value analysis, where we basically, again, I apologize to those people that always have to <laughs> put up with me telling them how I calculate these values because I do it over and over again. Again, I remind people I have to work with the lowest common denominator. So new people that come in, they'll be like, well, how the fuck did you get that number? This is how I got the number. I converted basically the value of all these items that you can get during a campaign for one particular campaign on the basis of the value of a scroll. So in that week, it costs a hundred of the campaign currency. Well, every week, the, these these prices are stable, right? These, regardless of whether it's donuts, penises, um, <laughs> dead skin cells, whatever the fuck the, the campaign currency is for that week, this is what it always is. Uh, and the gems, then how did you get to gems? Well, basically I said, if a hundred, campaign currency is worth, well, let's convert on the basis of how much a scroll is worth. So in real life, a scroll is worth 125 gems uh, and the equivalent campaign currency is 100. So then the conversion factor is one to 1.25 and that's how I converted, got gem values for uh, a rare artifact, uh, a light dark hero, uh, elite non-light dark hero, food, skin, uh, just a normal everyday skin, profit orb and super wishing coin. And there you might be like, well, milk stool, hang on. Super wishing coin, it says it's 150 here. So fair enough, right? You guys can, I'm gonna share this spreadsheet because I get so much shit for, well, milk stool, you're using the wrong value. Guys, in these videos, it's not, I wanna emphasize that it's more about the methodology than it is the value because I get that everyone's gonna always argue about the true value of certain items. I'm gonna tell you how I got to my, what in my mind is fair value. And then if you disagree, take my spreadsheet, download it, then enter whatever the fucking value you want, right? <laughs> don't say, don't fucking say, oh, super vision coins worth this much. Do your own analysis, all right? I'm here to give you the methodology, the tools, I'm teaching how to fish people. I don't care what fish you get, just fucking learn how to fish, right? So there we go. Got that off my chest. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm gonna get a million thumbs down for that, but that's okay. I don't do these videos for revenue. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd quit my job. I'd fucking do a very nice cover for my YouTube videos, which I've given up on, <laughs> as you would have now seen. Um, but yeah, I just do these because I've got nothing else to do. And it's kind of fun. Anyway, if you disagree with the value of the Super Vision coin or these tavern scrolls or these five-star heroes, you can type in whatever value you want and then this spreadsheet will auto-calc. Anyway, assuming you half ass believe my values, if you do all the penny side, you're gonna get 8,640 gems in return of, of goodies, of items, right? And so for the smart ones, they'd be like, well, hang on, 8,640, hang. If I just buy these fireworks, it's not really worth that much because it's gonna cost me, if, 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 if one firework's gonna cost me 10 and I need 1,000, that means it's gonna get me 10,000. If I, if I just use gems to buy everything from Penny, it's gonna cost me 10,000 gems, right? And you'd be right, it's gonna cost you 10,000 gems to get 8,640 back. But thankfully, I think we're gonna get, most of us are gonna get like either all 2,000 fireworks or very close to that number, like 15, 16, 1700, right? Keep in mind that I've had a head start because I bought the fireworks from, where the fuck did I buy it? Because we did these invites. So everyone that did two of these invites instantly already has 500 fireworks, right? So I think people are going to fall short. Um, but if you did the, the invite stuff, then you uh, you might get there, right? You might get there. So then the question is obviously, well, should I spend to, to finish off the rest? I would say yes. I would say yes. Um, but anyway, let's. I'll, I'll tell you why at the end of the carry analysis. So we similarly did a value analysis for carry. And at the end of it, she basically, what you get from her is uh, 10,184 gems worth of goodies. Uh, 
And the reason why it's high compared with Penny is because in this second tier, this 150 tier of goodies, you get skins. And according to the, the math, right, a skin is worth 1,875 skins. <laughs> I don't know if you rally skin as much as I do. <laughs> But I really like skin, um, and skin to me, I'll gladly pay for, because <laughs> I'm a dirty skin collector. Uh, in fact, why don't we admire my skin collection? So I actually have all the skins uh, from the, the basic skins, like the freebie skins that you can get. So, you know, just, just enjoy the skin. So if you look through, right, I've got all the skins for the basic, and I'm starting at duplicates. And so right now, what I'm doing is I'm very slowly fusing the basic duplicates to get the limiteds. Uh, and then from the limiteds, you just strive for legendary. But I, I mean, like, I don't value legendary enough to, like, sacrifice my limiteds. I'd rather get more kinds of limiteds. And I'm getting starting, I'm starting to get repeats of limiteds, to be honest, right? So I'm getting, like, the, the football dude. Oh, no, wait, that's a legendary one. I don't have that one. That's a gallery. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. So the legendary ones... Uh, not the legendary ones, the limited ones. Where am I getting repeats of limited? Uh, so this Michelle, this limited one is I'm getting a repeat. And obviously, Amun Ra, I'm getting a repeat of limited, but we're not going to get rid of the second one because we need two Amun Ra's. <laughs> uh, uh, the Valk, getting another, we've got another Spear of Trial. So I've got a lot of limited. I probably have enough to get a legendary, but we can just hold back on the legendary because uh, I like skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so does that mean you should go for carry? Again, I'm going to give you the spreadsheet. If you say to yourself, well, fuck, no, skins are only worth 500 to me, then the answer is, well, then if they're only worth 500 to you, then carry and penny are like a line ball pretty much the same. So then really, really, if you had to pick a side, because if you haven't worked out by now, it's a W-shaped uh, graph, meaning the optimum way to complete uh, this firework show is to basically spend all on one side. And the reason why you want to spend all on one side is because the rewards in the final bucket are worth so much, either 12.4 per firework or 12.2 per firework for the carry side, that you want to do all of one side and then you want to enjoy the U shape, the top of the U shape on the other side again when you go for the next hero down. So finish, when I get my 300 fireworks, I'm basically going to finish off carry. And then if I have enough left, I'm going to try and finish off Penny. So that's the optimal way to complete the fireworks show. You've got to basically do all of one side and then as much as you can of the other side. So then the next question is, okay, Melksu, I followed that logic. Uh, I've done that. Which side should I pick? The side you should pick is basically largely dependent on whether or not you need the dark food or the light food, right? So... You can just assume you're never going to get the, the perfect the hero that you want. So in this, I want Ada, but I know I'm not going to get her because there's only, what, uh, a 10, 15, 13% chance of getting her. So for these elite, light, dark hero shards, I've calculated the expected value of getting a light hero and what that's worth because there's food in here, like faith-based food. So that's 500 gems, I've said. It's, I've, I've, I've given light, dark food 100 gem and more value there's no, there's no, there's no like data behind it. I've just given them a hundred because you can't get during an event rate, right? Michelle, I think it's also food as well. Everyone else I've said, look, you're probably worth more. Um, and so it's in line with an Amun Ra that you could get at say, uh, during the campaign event. And that's worth 3,875 gems. So there are food heroes and then there's much better heroes. Uh, and similarly, I've done that here, except for Asmodel and DA. I've said, look, you're not really top tier dark or light heroes, but you're the next level down. And so I've said they're basically worth the equivalent of elite non-light dark heroes. Okay, so that's how that math works. Again, the mechanics are there. You can make these values whatever you want. I'm gonna share the spreadsheet, right? I'm gonna share the love for the first time because I figure <laughs> rather than me talk and then you guys disagreeing with how I come up with this, if you just agree with my methodology and you, I would argue it's a pretty seamless, uh, not robust methodology, right? Where you're going to disagree with me is basically the the, the value, the intrinsic values, because it's going to be different for everyone. And I totally get that. So type in whatever you want. And then on that basis alone, just work out where you need to spend. Anyway, I digress. So which side should you go for? You should go for the side where you basically need the light or dark food. Just assume that you're not going to get that top tier hero you need on that particular side. 
Uh, and so for me, just because of the fact that I fucked up and I went down the carry side first, I have to finish off her first and then uh, I will finish off the, the penny side. So the last question is then with the fireworks show is, okay, I've done one side completely and I'm going down the other side. I've picked the right side. Thanks Milk Tube, for the advice. Should I spend gems to complete it? The answer is yes. And here's why. Here's why. Even though at the start I said, if you just did this event purely with gems, uh, you would get basically, if you did this event purely of gems, you're going to get 18,824 gems back in its entirety. And you're going to spend 20,000 gems to get the 18,000 back. You're going to be like, well, Melksa, that's a fucking terrible deal. <laughs> I'm giving up 1,000, 1,100 gems, all right? Here's the analysis. You got to think of it this way, right? You got, you got, to, you got to think of the analysis this way. It's, it's incremental, I guess, analysis. Um, and what incremental analysis is, it means you ignore everything that's come before you so far, right? Ignore everything that has taken place. That, that's not a part of the equation. It's basically, how much do I need to spend now to get the next level of reward? So let's say you've done all of one side and you're basically at, let's say where I am, right? Let's say I'm at Penny um, and I need, for argument's sake, 300 gems to get the, the final box. Because let's say I've got exactly 1700 and I got to this point and I need three more, 300 more fireworks to get the last penny reward. Should I do it? Then you would go into the analysis. You would look at, well, how much do I get in that last bracket? Three, six, seven, four, three, six, four, seven. Therefore, because each, for each firework, the return is so much greater. You should absolutely spend the gems to get that last uh, tier of rewards, right? So that's that's one way to think about it. The other way to think about it is, well, look, the the event overall is giving me eighteen eight two four worth of rewards, right? I'm gonna get some fireworks for free, but I also have to spend to get some fireworks. Well, given the, if you think of it in those terms, then theoretically, if you believe that what you get back in, is run, in return is around 18,000 gems. You should spend basically up to 18,000 gems to get buy these fireworks. Um, and then whatever else you get in return, you, you, you know, that's, that's, you, you're getting those for free. So that's, that's, that, that's another way to think about it. It's like, well, uh, and this one, this last thing, this, this last way of thinking about it, it's, it's, it's a bit more complex, right? Because you're effectively spreading the average cost of fireworks down across the free units that you get every day, as well as the, the, the ones that you have to pay for. Most economists will think of it and most business people will think of it in turn, incremental terms, right? I have 300 to go, how much more am I gonna get, right? And they're gonna think about it in those terms. There are some people that think about it in other ways. Um, and I, I can see how they think about it in this way. They say, look, how many fireworks do I need to, to, to spend gems on? And then, you know, is, is, is how much is that when I, when I average down the cost, including the, the, the cost of the free fireworks, the, the gem per firework. So for example, let's say you got, you know, 1200 free fireworks just from doing coming in daily and, and checking your mail and all that good stuff. And you need to buy 800, right? So then someone would argue the average cost of each firework is not actually 10. The average cost of each firework is actually, uh, so it's 2000, well, 2000 divided by, it's eight, sorry, it's 800 divided by 2000. And they've basically spread the cost of the gems even across the free ones. That's not theoretically how you should ever think about <laughs> incremental analysis in life. So if you guys do economics, that's not how it works, right? The, the free stuff has already come. What's the decision before you? How much more do you have to gain? Um, and how much more do you have to spend? Everything that has come before you is a sunk cost. It's gone. You cannot repeat that decision, all right? So that's how sunk costs and incremental value analysis work. If for those of you who are thinking about doing economics or struggling with those concepts, but there are some people out there that are like, no, 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 no. Look at it in totality, right? The whole cost of the project is, um, 
you know, you're gonna get 18824 and it's gonna cost me only an incremental 800 gems to buy those tickets. And therefore the cost per firework is 0.4 uh, of a gem per, per firework. And though there are people that think like that, and that's 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 why you get like sort of budget. I'm I'm, I'm striving to economics again. I love economics. That's why you, you get budget blowout because people start considering the project in terms of its totality and what you've sunk into it. They start looking at the whole thing rather than how much more do I have to go right. They're like, well, we've already spent billions on it. We can't throw it away. Um, we should spend more. No, no you're never going to get those billions back, right? And there's no, unless you're absolutely certain that project's going to finish on time uh, and, 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 and it's going to finish well, you stop it there and then. It's, it's like stocks, right? Stocks, at, at some point, people hate losing, right? But at some point, you just got to cut your losses and, and, and run because if you stay in it, you just lose even more money. There's this irrationality about human beings about loss. That, that we don't like. We hate the concept of sunk costs. It disgusts us. Anyway, I always make these sessions about economics. I'm sorry I did that, but look, that's that's how I came. Uh, that's that's the way to think through the fireworks show if you're struggling. And like I said, I will put a link to the spreadsheet uh, in the link below because I know you guys, one guy asked for it like last week, all my spreadsheets. And I said like, well, if you want it, here it is. So I figure, like I said, it, it's more valuable. I teach you the, the thinking rather than tell you what the uh, well my, what my answer is i mean this is just an example answer it's not necessarily the right answer okay great so there, <laughs> there's the fireworks uh show and that's a bit about economics now let's do brave trial so brave trial i've been struggling with but i think i've found a secret formula to finish it uh for me and it's different for everyone right because it's spray trial is hugely dependent on your lineup um and so everyone's lineup is going to be different, but I think it's universally acknowledged that you strip everything from the hero except the artifact. Uh, and then that's how you do Brave Trial. And so, and yes, I run Fearless rather than Demon Bell on um, Ada during Brave Trial because I want her to stay alive rather than go first. So, we do a kiss of ghosts on you, my son. And the reason why you keep your artifacts on is, is because they don't count artifacts in your power. And so if you're wondering why you strip artifacts from your, or what, how they calculate power and who you go up against, they basically calculate who you go up against your, your power based on your, off your top six heroes in terms of their absolute raw power. So people usually just take everything off the first six heroes. But what people fail to forget is that, you know, if you take armor and shit off your first six heroes your next i don't know seven to nine heroes then might be like just just like super powerful now so you actually have to go a lot further than the first six heroes i take it off my first what so who have i taken it off taking off one two three four five six so i'm going to take off you seven eight nine ten i take it off my first ten heroes before i'm like well okay by the 10th hero, so his power is now like, what, 320? It starts to sort of equal Belran. Belran is still a kind of bit of OP, but I don't want to take armor off too many people because then I'm like, I've got to fucking put it back on all of them, right? So <laughs> so Belran is now in my top six because of the fact that she has armor on her. Because if you look at everyone else, like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's a dirty fucking lie. She's not in my top six. There we go. But if I left, if I had left my armor on Horus, is he in the top six? This is I don't know. I, I I stopped calibrating. Like you start doing a lot of muscle memory things, and so before like Carrie and Tara, Horus is absolutely in my top six he heroes when the armor was still on him. But if I put full armor on and then the withered, is he in the top six now? Four thirty. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he is in the top six. So, oh, no, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's in the top 30 because he's he's got 430 mil power. So, Horace, you still have to stay in the game. Nekad. I'll give you your ult. <laughs> I'll give you your withered. So, that's the other thing that people often miss, but... Let's go into a brave trial 
and let's do some sexy action. So the first one, a million power. That's a fuck ton. Uh, Ada should be able to handle that pretty easily, but I basically run um, a, a, a Ada Aspen combo and that generally clears me through day pretty easily. I run a full power deer, but let's see how we go. Thank you. And so the for me in Brave Child, I, I up until I managed to finish Brave Child Knight just without tokens the last time, um, my aim was just to clear day for the monthly rewards. But now that uh, and I saved up all my tokens, you'll see when I get to six how many tokens I've saved up, and you'll be like, "Well, what the fuck, Milk? Why don't you, why don't you um, use your token selectively to get to Knight Fifteen? And the reason is because I don't I've, I don't have enough." Um, corn bits to, to buy the, the top tier hero at level three. Uh, so uh, that's the reason why I have saved up all my tokens, 123, <laughs> because I've got nothing to spend it on. Uh, and I'm probably gonna use the tokens like the first of every month just to get, finish that, that the monthly quest for, oh, uh, I might use it now for Aspen actually. Having said all that, it's like, oh, you dirty lion milk stool. Uh, but yeah, I would use it to finish the monthly quest more than anything now, rather than get to night 15. Cause night 15 is not that big a deal for me anymore. Uh, simply because the rewards that you get, it's really hard to get Ada. Um, and that's really the only copy that I need. I can use feathers. I've got like a thousand feathers, right? So <laughs> unless they put Tara or Carrie in there, it's just not the rewards for getting to night 15 aren't there for me anymore to the point where it's worth like, ooh, you gotta really fucking try now. Horus might be a problem and Horus is a problem. You fucking cow. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna revive. I'm just gonna use my existing heroes. I might revive next round. So I'll use my horse. You know what? I'll use my full powered horse now that my heroes have died. Um, I will use my Horus with his uh, <laughs> five star armor. Very sexy, very good. And I will... <sighs> fucking Horus. This is, this is why Horus is still super fucking annoying in this game. Um, and that really shits me. We'll lock you fucking down, Horus. We'll lock you the fuck down. Um, who else should I use? Should I use... Yeah, we'll get you up there and then we'll twine the fuck out of you with my uh, heebie jeebies, my hippies. There we go. Fucked you good. And then Akira. Shield, shield, shield. Yeah, this is a weak lineup. We can fuck him over there. Great. So now we are in night. And so this is where. This is probably the part that you really care about. Well, you probably care about the whole thing, but <laughs> let's be honest. Revive. So we started, we're using uh, the tokens now, which I know I started wouldn't. I'm a dirty liar. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> right, so we can, still, we can still stick with this class B team to clear out these easy night stages. And certainly the threat, the, the, oh fuck, he's got two Garudas. This is going to be a hard one because they've got two Garudas, a ramen. And I'm probably going to lose this. This is actually, even though it says 1.8 million power from Applegrade, the reality is this is actually a pretty decent lineup. Um, fuck. Horus is nearly dead. Horus is nearly dead. So what do we need to do? All right, we'll swap Horus out. Uh, we'll put you back in, put you in. Oh, fuck, let's just give it a watch. I don't think I. The, it looks weak, power wise, it weaks, but in terms of synergy and those the, who's involved, yeah, it's there. It's there. So as long as we can lock down these uh, chomos, <laughs> we're good. So he's got his shield up. Yeah, we're good. We're good. There we go. No problem in the end. But now I'm probably going to face myself because uh, I fucked myself over. No. We've got a 2.9 million power team, Garuda. Yes. 
Yes, that's a pretty decent team. So, uh, and to be honest, what I'd try and do here is I basically try and run with a B grade team <laughs> as long as I can before I promote my, my lineup to an A grade team. And that's why it's worth having a lot of like, I guess, E5 heroes. But the key thing is to effectively keep the power level down for as long as you can. Uh, because you don't want to use too much power in one stage because then the next power the next stage you're going to face someone of equal power so you always want to use as little power as possible you want team synergy over like just raw power than this number up here when you do brave trial so i need to keep my power levels down so 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 what power they're on three mil so i can put like a decent number of people in here um They're probably going to shit on this lineup, but let's have a look. Because they got three mil. They got they got a couple of E5s. They're going to tame your shreds. But hopefully there's enough uh, shitty synergy with my <laughs> with my heroes to... Come on, Ram, and get your shield up before Penny does her thing. Yes, there we go. Everyone's stunned, or a couple of people stunned. Uh, and now we can just proceed to... Oh, yeah, this team's dead. They're gone. There we go. So, and I did that with a 2 million power team, right? So, and that's 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 what you want. So now we face the 2 million power team. And so we should be able to use more or less the same shitty lineup, uh, but with a replacement dud hero. So now we can put Unimax in, who's completely underpowered. <laughs> and uh, we can continue to use my lovely double Aiders. Yes, let's go. Okay, we can skip that. We don't need to watch it. So we can just keep going along, keep going along. See, back down to 2 million power. We're easy street. Do I face myself? No. Face this new 3 million power team. Ah, oh, fuck. I always make my life difficult, these special teams. Right, so who are we scared of? We're scared of Penny, Horus. Yeah, this is going to be a struggle. So I might have to use someone reliably powerful uh, just to beat this stage. So oh, we're going around the lineup again battles oh fuck it we can just use these heroes to weaken that team let's see how we go oh we actually won there you go so you don't always need the most powerful team uh to win raw power wise how many heroes did we lose that's the most important oh we didn't lose anyone oh there we go this is a new synergy right so that's the neat thing about ray trial you find these new synergies with these like super weak underpowered teams and you just see how oh fuck we lost everyone uh probably should have watched that one why did I get wrecked? Because of Penny, I reckon. Fucking Penny. <laughs> so now we gotta find another synergy team because everyone's just basically fucking died. Um, so what should we do? I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think, think, think. So let's put in you in slot one. Uh, and then we'll do you again. We want to stay around 2 million power. We don't want too much power. I know that's not really too much. I'm probably gonna lose. No, I won. There we go. <laughs> so this guy's got 3 million power again. Fuck me. It's got a penny. So I'm definitely scared of penny. Ah, fuck. Start dumping an arm and right. We'll revive Ada. So there you go. My strategy is just completely shit now. Um, my strategy just basically relies on. <laughs> So Ada, Aspen in daytime trial and then nighttime use as many of my junk heroes as possible. I know many, many of you won't be able to follow my strategy because you'd be like, well, what the fuck? I don't have that many heroes. I'm only concentrated on two E5s. All my other heroes are trash. Yes, I recognize that. Um, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm deeply, deeply sorry. <laughs> so that is... Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. That should kill him. It's just a question of how many people I lost along the way. How many good people? So back to 2 million power. So I've got to now reverse how many heroes I have because we can't use, we can't overpower the other team. Otherwise, the next team we'll face will be super powerful, which is what we exactly what we don't want. So if we go back down the, the power tree, we'll put you back in there uh, and we can continue our merry journey of victory. So again, 2 million power and, ah, uh, fuck. Okay, more people have died. Um, so we go you and then, I know, I need Aspen. I need, Aspen and Ada are still like super needed. 
Um, so we will revive Aspon. Alright. Because he self heals as well when he gets his um his attack off. So if we go Eda, then we go Aspan, then we keep the shield boy around. Put you in, because you're kinda underpowered and shit. I'll put you in. 1.9. Yeah, that should do it. 1.9. Victory. Excellent. Did we lose anyone? The answer is no. And because this is a super powerful team, we got to run like a full lineup. Yes. Victory. We'll go back down to 2 million power, hopefully. Yes. Battle. Uh, as long as we didn't lose anyone. Okay, so we'll just keep going with this 2 million power team. Very sexy. Very sexy. Very sexy. So there we go. And now I face myself. And so, I have enough heroes here to soften up the... Who did I lose? I lost my Aspen. All right, we'll lock down you, put you in. That should be enough, right? I've got a passive and active lockdown. Um, fingers crossed. Let's look at the battle versus myself. Uh, my underpowered team. I'll probably fucking lose because it's still... Because <laughs> that's just my luck. I say a bunch of shit. I sound like I'm the top dick, but I'm not. <laughs> I get to the end and you're like, well, hang the fuck on. You just lost everyone. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> so things are going good uh, As The tower lady has, has got people locked down So does my, my bitch carry <laughs> So we, we're on a good path uh, And they're not going to hadouken me <laughs> Aspen can't hadouken me hopefully Yep, he's gone That's the one I'm scared about And then as long as we can get uh, uh, There we go There we go And that's how you complete Brave Trial That's how I complete Brave Trial with <laughs> I have to spend tokens this time admittedly but I think I net gain tokens which is what I want and I complete a brave trial anyway that is Valentino yeah see I'm on 60,000 that is now how I complete brave trial I don't know if I found that useful if you stay to the end of the video thank you for watching otherwise have a good uh, Chinese New Year my brothers uh, like I say stay away from the mystery meats <laughs> except if it's the uh, Middle Eastern kind love kebabs um, otherwise, have a great weekend ahead, and thank you for watching as always, guys.